Right, we're going to do a quick overview of the AppSense Management Suite for version 8 as it applies to a terminal server or Citrix environment. So if this is my Citrix farm here and I have six servers and it's split into two streams of applications and I have my three modules, Performance Manager, Application Manager and Environment Manager. What we have here is Performance Manager has basically three roles in the terminal server world. CPU, memory, and disk. So which role in this sort of example is to do this? Remove some of the servers that are on the farm, return on investment, less servers, more users, more capacity, better return on investment. Application Manager, again, has three main roles. Security, license control, Microsoft license control has been signed up by Microsoft as a valid form of license control in the terminal server environment, and there's a feature called ANAC, Application Network Access Control. So that's about security, making sure that people can't disrupt the build by loading applications off the internet, loading applications off uh, USB keys, out of emails, that sort of thing. Microsoft License Control, as I said, approved by Microsoft for license control. The way this works, if I have three PCs down here, I load up something like Microsoft Project on my terminal server farm, I need to isolate the licensing for project at a device level. So if this device here, number one, is a license for project, number two is license for project, number three is not licensed for project, when we connect in from either of these two particular PCs, application manager running on the server will allow project to run. If we connect in from this particular PC here that doesn't have a project license, application manager will stop project proactively reinforcing our licensing. That brings us to Environment Manager, which again has three parts of its role in the terminal server world. First one is what we call Policy, and that's all about things like replacing login scripts, setting up your drives, setting up your printers, all that sort of stuff for the environment for the user in the middle. The second one is what we call uh, Lockdown Self-Healing, and that's about making sure that you can vary the application functionality based on where the users are. They come in externally, you might take away functions, stop them printing, that sort of thing. Self-healing can help you keep the build consistent so you can self-heal registry keys, file uh, contents, that sort of thing. And the last one, probably most important, is what we call personalization. Now, personalization is a, a key factor of UEM, user environment management. And what that does is helps us take the user settings. We can then put the user settings into a database managed by a personalization server. Effectively, we can grab the user's individual settings from an application, stream them out to the personalization server which stores them in the SQL server, and those settings are then available for the user wherever they run the application. So if I have a locally installed copy of Word on my PC, I make a setting change, that setting goes into my personalization server, goes in my SQL database. If I then run Word on any of my Citrix servers, that setting can be streamed live into the server, and then my setting is being replicated across these two individually different copies of Word. The great thing about that, once we've got our settings in the SQL Server, it gives us the ability to do what's called rollback. The user might come in one day, his Word settings or Outlook settings have been corrupted. He rings up the help desk, help desk logs into the personalization server and can roll this guy back to yesterday's Outlook settings without affecting anything else in his profile. Also gives us the ability to do migrations. I can put it in migrate mode on an XP PC. I can take all of the settings out of a user's profile that are relevant to the applications, put it in the SQL database, I then take away this guy's uh, XP PC, replace that with a Windows 7 PC. When he runs his application, we can stream in the settings live into the app, up comes his email, up comes his Word settings the last he used. Okay, that's it. Quick overview of uh, the AppSense Management Suite version 8 as it applies in the terminal server.